Hey guys, Miss B here again. Uh, this is day two of my London trip. This is Monday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. But I was no fool today because I booked Ian of Photo Tours London and had a, my photo tour of the Westminster section of London. I have got to say that it was an amazing experience. Not only did I learn so much about how to use my camera, but I got to see so many wonderful landmarks. I got to take pictures of the Ben, Westminster Abbey. Also got to witness the changing of the guard, and it was just amazing. So if you're ever in London, make sure that you look up Ian of Photo Tours London and set yourself up. Now, I, you know, I have a pretty good camera, but he also does iPhone tours as well. So even if you have a point-and-shoot iPhone, whatever, just make sure that you get yourself booked for that because it was well worth it. Hello, my name's Ian, and uh, I'm here with Mrs. Blanchett, and she's told me that you all like Dal um, Dalton Abbey. Well, we kind of like it over here, but let me tell you, I don't really speak like that. When you watch Dalton Abbey, one always speaks of quite properly. But let me tell you now, when you're in the south of London, we speak in a totally different way. Have fun, enjoy. Bye now. Math problem is going to be about the London Eye. That was another thing that I was able to visit after I finished up with Ian. Um, I went and saw the sunset on the river uh, from the Ferris wheel. I believe it's the biggest Ferris wheel in the world, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to Google that to verify, okay? Uh, so before I say it's the biggest, let me check that out. But whether or not it's the biggest in the world, it was the biggest in my world. It's definitely the biggest Ferris wheel that I've ever seen, and the view from there was just amazing. And with all the things that I learned from Ian, I was able to get some amazing pictures as well. So I have tons of pictures to share, and I know everybody is waiting to see the pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and show those to you. And today's math problem is going to be about the London Eye. You're going to figure out how to graph the sine curve based on the Ferris wheel problem, which is very common. And you're also going to find a person's height when they're on a Ferris wheel using trigonometry. Okay, guys, so tomorrow I will be going to Gay Pele, and I can tell you all about that in my next video. Until next time, I'm Mrs. Blanchett. You can tweet me at Mrs. Blanchett Net or go to my blog to see more videos or leave a comment and send me an email. Thanks a lot, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.